Shamans have a special bond with the natural world and strive to always work in harmony with it. Their abilities are not exactly called spells, but rather calls, as the shaman must first ask for the help of the spirits they work with. The spirit may then refuse their help, often doing so in case the shaman becomes greedy or the task might imbalance the natural world. In return, shamans have a duty to tend to the spirits and to help preserve the balance of nature. Shamanism can be easily confused with Druidism, as the two classes share several similarities in the lore. Druids are usually seen working more closely with plants, animals and the spirit of the wilds, while shamans use the fundamental elements of earth, fire, wind and water, and they can also have a connection to the ancestors. During the rise of the First Horde, shamanism came to be almost completely abandoned by the orcs and almost disappeared from Draenor. The word shaman following the Second War even became a derogatory term for someone who told fantastical and unbelievable stories among the orcs. Though they eventually returned to shamanism, most of their shamans are still unable to contact the spirits of their ancestors. Outside of the four traditional elements, shamans also sometimes work with the spirit of the wilds, which governs all living things, specifically when casting their resurrection spell, Ancestral Spirit. During his training to become a shaman, Farseer Nabundo also became aware of another element, seemingly connected to the Twisting Nether and said to tie all the worlds together. Though unconfirmed, some speculate that this was also referring to the spirit of the wilds. Shamans have a formal organization named the Irvin Ring. Originally founded by the Torrent around 250 years ago, the group expanded to include many of the shamanistic races of Azeroth and even several Draenei. The Irvin Ring works to maintain the balance between the elements on a worldwide scale and was most active during the time of the Cataclysm, with even Thrall joining it. Shamans use their totems to help connect with the elemental spirits. Besides the well-known ones used in battle, shamans also carry alongside them, in a small pouch, several representations of the various elements of the world. For instance, Thrall carried a small stone with him to represent his connection to the spirit of the earth. Though totems are not entirely necessary to call forth the power of the elements, destroying one can severely damage a shaman's connection with the spirits, to the point where the elements may refuse to talk to them for a while. A twisted version of shamanism is represented by the Dark Shaman, who forces the elements into servitude and, as a result, corrupt the nature around them. Several of these castes exist within the Fell Horde, the Twilight Sammer, the True Horde and the Iron Horde, though for a time an independent organization, appropriately named the Dark Shaman, existed in Ragefire Chasm, before they swore their loyalty to Garrosh Hellscream. The Dark Shaman of the Iron Horde belong to the Warsong Clan and unintentionally use void magic in their spells. The Tonka of Northrend also practice a similar form of shamanism as they force the elements into servitude to guarantee their survival in that frigid land.